My name is Dipanka and I'm a developer advocate at Click. Welcome to the experiment series. Today we are going to discuss how you can use a prediction model developed in Click AutoML in your Clicks dashboards to derive further values. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to learn how to build a Clicks dashboard by integrating predictive insights from Click AutoML. The idea is to show how organizations can mature their analytics journey by integrating BI with machine learning. Descriptive analytics has been around for a while. It allows organizations to derive insights to know what happened in the past and take actions based on it. However, there are scenarios when you would like to have an idea of what might happen in the future based on historical data. For example, sales forecasting. This is where the power of predictive modeling comes into play. In the modern analytics landscape, integrating machine learning techniques with BI can be quite beneficial to organizations. So how this click enables you to integrate predictive analytics into the existing dashboards that business users today are already using. This is where the power of Click's augmented analytics comes into play. Today, we're going to see how as a data analyst, we can bring predictions from a model developed in Click AutoML to build a dashboard and take advantage of both BI and AI. Before we get started, make sure you understand the prerequisites. First, your tenant admin needs to turn on enable ML endpoint option in the management console. And second, you need to have access to the classification model developed in Click AutoML using the prediction API. Let's start building our dashboard. For this session, we will use a sample data set that contains flight information for a variety of careers. We will first create the sheet with historical data and later on combine it with predictions from Click AutoML. So let's start creating the app uh, and we'll add a new analytics app. We'll call it Click auto ml and create it now okay we have the app and we'll go to the data load editor and we'll create a table called flights and i typically use the data folder connection to get my data so i think i already have it here Let's see. Perfect. I have it here. I'll select the data. All right. I can see all the fields. I'll just insert script. But please note that we will also add a new field called row number, which is a function as row ID. And the purpose of this is to create associations between this table and the table that will be returned by click AutoML so that we can take advantage of Click's unique associative engine during our analysis. So I'll load the data. And our data has been loaded successfully. Before designing the dashboard, let's go over a few metrics that we have defined. Since our goal with this app is to understand about flight delays, we will try to analyze the following. First, delays based on their origin location. Departure versus arrival delay for each airline. Observe the delays by weekdays. And in the end, we'll cluster the destination by distance and delay. Now let's start building our sheet. We'll call this uh, my analysis. All right, we'll go to building a sheet. So the first thing that we have in our metrics is the delays based on their origin location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a bar chart and since it's by origin and the delays, so I'll just use origin as my dimension and I want to get the delays. So I'll do an average of this and now I have my first chart, which is delays based on their origin. Perfect. For the second metric, we have the departure versus arrival delay for each of the airline. So again, I'm going to pull a bar chart and I'm going to add, since we, since we need to highlight the departure versus arrival delay for each airline, I know the airline is the carrier field. And in the measure, I'm going to add two of them. One is the average of arrival delay and the other would be average of departure delay. So here we go. Right. 
So this is the departure versus arrival delay by airlines. And I'm going to quickly change the appearance of this to, you know, reflect something else. I'll say multicolored and just change the schema a bit. Perfect. Right. For the next metric, it's observe the delays by weekdays. So I'm going to pull a bar chart again. Or oh, sorry, a line chart that will be more specific for this use case. So I need it by the weekdays, right? So what I have in here in my fields is basically the the flight date, which is in the date. So I will just quickly add a dimension and say uh, weekday. I'll use the weekday function, which will which will give me basically the day of the week and flight date. All right. And our measure will be average of the arrival delay since we are trying to understand the delays. Okay, uh, we have by weekdays now and so I'll just call it weekdays delay. And the last metric that we have is we want to clusterize the destination by the distance and the delay so that you know we get provide some more in-depth analysis. This is where we'll leverage one of the augmented analytics feature which is k-means clustering which is available in k Clicksense by default. So what I need to do here is basically pull a scatter plot, and since I want to cluster by destination and uh, the cluster that destination by distance and delay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the destination as a bubble here, and uh, the the sum of distance as the x-axis. And in the y-axis, we will add the uh, arrival delay average, right? Now, I want, since I want to clusterize it, and what I need to do is basically invoke a function in my color by custom. So I'm going to just make it uh, quickly by dimension and just, you know, uh, add a function to this dimension. So the k-means 2D chart function is the one that I'll be using here for doing our k-means clustering. So what we typically need is the number of clusters, the two coordinates, and any kind of normalization that we are doing to the clustering. So <clears throat> the function that I will use is something like aggregate, and I'll do a k-means of 2D. What I, so I'll just define the number of cluster to be three for now and just use the distance as one of the coordinate. Another coordinate would be the arrival delay. So this would be one. For the normalization, I'm gonna use Z score. You, you know, depending on a use case, you can use whatever you feel like. And finally, we will add our Destination, since we want to cluster by destination. So we have OK with the function here. That means everything looks good. Once I apply here, now you can see that we have three clusters and our destinations are clustered based on uh, the distance and the delay. I'm going to quickly call this uh, destination clustered by distance and delay. I can change the label to, you know, be something more specific, cluster, and add a persistent color. Okay, I think we have what we wanted to do as part of the historical analysis. Uh, these were made with the data that was already loaded uh, from the source. Now that we have the historical analysis sheet, we will create a click AutoML connection so that we can get the prediction from the click AutoML system. So let's go to the data load editor. Here you will have to create a new connection and you have to select click AutoML as analytic source. Enter the access URL of the prediction API, the authentication token, and after you test the connection, you're good to use the connection for your predictions. In my case, I already have a connection created, so I'm going to just use that. 
So our next step would be to set the data that we have in our source table to the click AutoML API endpoint. And the return table would be whether a flight is delayed or not. So that's our whole goal. So let's try to select the data. And here you will have to enter the source table, which is in our case flights table. Once you enter that, you will have the AutoML prediction table. Just select this one and say insert script. So this is what the script looks like. We will have a connection name and we will have our source table name. And we are basically sending the data to the AutoML system. One of the things that I want to do here is instead of the load star, uh, I want to also use one more thing here, which is the row number as row ID. Because like we want this particular table to be joined with this particular table. And uh, yeah, so this is what we have. Now we will just load the data. Okay, so I think everything looks good. There is no error. Now, if I quickly go to the data model viewer, I can see how my data model is right now. Okay, so now I have the source table, which is my flights table, and I have my prediction table from AutoML. So if I see the data, I can see the prediction from the click AutoML system, which is like whether it's delayed or not. For one is for delayed flight and zero is for not delayed flight. I can also get the probability of individual predictions. So, you know, if you want to do some further analysis, this might be another fields uh, that you can use. So now that we have the predictions from AutoML system, let's add it to our historical analysis and derive further insights. So I'm going to see how we can improvise this particular dashboard by adding the prediction data. First of all, uh, I would like to understand the, how the prediction shares are. So I'm going to quickly add a pie chart. Probably that might give us a good idea of the shares. So here in the data, I'm going to use the prediction and the angle would be my count of row ID. So I'm going to just do a count here. And I want to like make it more of a donut style chart rather than a pie. So I'll just quickly move this around so that I have my BI state here. Okay. And yeah, I think we have the shares right now. So if I go to my data, this is my prediction. I'm just gonna make it prediction. Okay, so if I see my shares, after this, so I can see that my, you know, out of all the data that I sent, 59.8% are not delayed flight, but 40.2% are delayed flight. Uh, now let's see if I can add this particular prediction field to already existing charts and, you know, derive some more insights. So what I'm going to do is first, I will add this particular prediction to the weekdays delays chart. So what I can do here is I'm going to add the prediction field here. And you can already see it's already colored. And what I'm going to do is quickly change the appearance to more of an area form. Okay. So now what we have done in this case is basically added our prediction field that we got from AutoML system to one of the chart that had historical data. And as you can see, it allows us to derive some more insights with like the flights that were delayed and not delayed. We are going to do analysis later on. I guess first we'll just add a few more things here. I'm also going to add prediction to the delays based on the origin charts so that I can derive some more insights from there. Okay, and I have the colors with delayed and not delayed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just make it a horizontally appear so I can save some space. And here we go. So now it is based on origin and prediction. Same goes for this chart. Finally, I think one of the other things that I would like to do is create a KPI object that basically will you know, give me a high level overview of the overall probability of AutoML delay prediction. 
And I have a formula for that. So what I'm going to quickly do is arrange a few of my sheets here. So I'm going to just move this here. I'm going to... Oh, sorry about that. I think I could quickly move this here. So... Yeah, and this particular chart a bit here and here. Okay, so I have some space for the key PI object now. Uh, what I'm going to quickly do is add the object. So go to my asset and add a key PI. Right. Now, I want this particular measure to show only the prediction delays, uh, not the one that are not delayed. So I have a formula for that that I've already created. You can quickly use it. And let's put something like that. So basically we are using the prediction which are one and divided by you know the total number of instances that we had in a data set. Uh, I'll just say apply. And I'm going to modify a few things here. I'm going to say this is like the auto ML delay prediction. And for the number formatting, I'm going to make it a number and represent it in percentage. Right. And for the appearance, I'm going to just change the color, the library color to something more vibrant. Okay. Perfect. So now we have our final dashboard with the prediction data as well as the historical data. Right. So if we try to analyze a few things here, now, since we have the prediction data, it kind of allows us to explore more. For example, let's say we want to only explore the, the things for which the flights are delayed, I can just select that particular delay and you know try to analyze more things in this particular uh, origin or like understand how the delays are by weekdays. Uh, I can also like do a few more analysis with respect to uh, what has changed over the time and stuff. So historically, this particular dashboard just allowed me to understand what happened in the past. But now I can understand and drill on more of what things might happen in the future uh, using our AutoML predictions. So that brings us to the end of this exciting demo. Hopefully, this particular demo has given you an idea of how you can integrate both BI and AI and you know, take advantage of, um, uh, I think, the AutoML system as well. Um, so thank you so much. Let us know what you think of this video in our Twitter at ClickDeveloper.